lot of people ask, does the shape of the pasta matter? Of course it matters. Fresh pasta takes a little bit more work if you're gonna make it. Now we're gonna get into gnocchi, which is a different kind of dough. Boil potatoes in their skin, then you rice them so they're nice and fine. You add flour to that and eggs to bind it, and you just knead it into a dough. And do not over knead it. Then you roll it in a cordon. Keep in mind that gnocchi are a little sticky. You don't want to put too much flour to begin with. And then you cut into size of the gnocchi that you like. Can you make it a little bigger, a little smaller? If you don't have this, not a big problem. You can use a regular knife. You can use even a butter knife. This is a soft dough. So a little bit of flour, and then you shape them. This is a little board. You see it has little ridges. And it's, so you take your thumb and you want to press down and roll. Okay, that's one. And then you can just keep on rolling like this. You're forming a little indentation here where the sauce lodges and then of course the ridges. Now if you don't have this little board and gadget, a fork will do. Put it in the flour a little bit and you roll the gnocchi down the thins of the fork. The gnocchis of my childhood were all made with a fork. It's great because it gives you that, that sensation in the mouth. It doesn't just slip down. Gnocchi is a substantial mouthful by itself. So simple sauces, sometimes just plain tomato sauce, a little butter and sage will absolutely do. Three, four simple ingredients. We made the gnocchis. We have some boiling water. We need to salt it. And we're gonna put the gnocchis right in here. Butter and sage is the sauce as simple as it gets and it has intense flavor. Leaves of fresh sage, great flavoring agent for gnocchis, for raviolis, and a few will go a long way. I'm gonna add here just a little bit of the pasta cooking water, and this is gonna be the sauce. Okay, that's how good these gnocchis are. They don't need a lot. It needs to be vigorously boiling, otherwise the gnocchis will stick together. Okay. Just mix them gently. The sauce is cooking away. Just a little bit of salt, depends on how salty your butter is. In the kitchen, everything is relative. You need to be in, in tune. The gnocchis are coming up. Okay, you just fish them right out. See how they kind of wobble? I can tell they're cooked. Put them right in here. If you don't know whether something is cooked, there's always tasting, and do it. I'm going to add some grana again. As far as the sage, you can serve it or pull it out, but it is uh, intense if you eat it, so maybe I would leave some of it. Grating right on top. Children, adults, everybody will love this dish.